Good morning. Let's check some mail. You okay? You okay? What, what is that? What the fuck was that? Well, greetings to you, my friends, one and all. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Buy You Gold Guy. I am Buy You Gold Guy. I got my little, I got my little big dog mascot here, a uh, gizmo, and uh, as you could tell by the opening, there it is, uh, early on a Friday morning. The the you know the show is this tonight, so uh, between the rain and work, I just haven't been able to uh, get out and uh, get into my pay dirt. So uh, I've got some mail we're gonna look at, and uh, you know just do a little. Little reflecting on the week. Uh, it is the anniversary, three year anniversary of Hurricane Ida hitting. Uh, it was yesterday on Thursday, and uh, actually when it was when it hit hit on a Sunday, uh, the year in twenty twenty one when it hit. But uh, yeah, uh, three years ago today, I was in the dark. We had no power, no gas, no water. Water was a trickle. It wasn't completely off, but yeah, uh, it was still for a couple more days, basically useless. Um, the, uh, uh, gas had still been shut off, but I had the house behind me. My landlord's mom, his, uh, parents had a house there with the, the generator. Actually, we've got it on, uh, on the, one of the episodes from that summer here in the construction. I comment on, well, they're, they're, they're building something over there. And, uh, uh, turns out they were building the fencing around the new, Gas powered, uh, hard lined generator <laughs> that uh, they ended up using it two months, uh, two months later. From this was like in June or July, and then we were using it in August. But that extension cord was civilization and made it possible to be able to stay here. With uh, back then, believe it or not, it was just me and Schrodinger, I mean, me and uh, Irwin and Angel, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so uh. Yeah, so it's uh, much better off now three years later for sure, although it has been, especially yesterday, it was a stormy, just raging day. Well, we were going to do some <laughs> some panning for our painter review this week, but uh, as you can see here today, especially on the uh, third anniversary of Hurricane Ida, it, uh, it, it seems very reminiscent of that day <laughs> right now, except we have more... Uh, our structures aren't being destroyed today, so uh, yeah, we're gonna we'll see if it passes in time to get something in. We may have to do a, maybe doing a live stream for Friday night this this week, just because uh, yeah, it's 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 roughing it up. <laughs> All right, it's very reminiscent of the of the hurricane. So uh, yeah, but um, as you can see from our coffee mug there, yes, I got in. A very cool package from Mr. Alan Curry from across the pond over there in the UK. So uh, very cool. We're having our had our morning coffee. <laughs> I replaced the. I always have the big Santa mug is the cup I usually use. But uh, yeah, this is like I said. There's our our Alan Curry. Very cool. Very cool mug. Coffee even tastes better. So. Uh, can I put you down? Can I put you down now? He was very insistent about uh, getting getting held. I think I think he keeps seeing kittens disappearing from around the house. He's getting worried that he might be next, huh? He said, "Well, if everybody keeps disappearing, they don't come back." Actually, I was up yesterday. I went by and saw the the last five I'd brought in there. That we saw the little the little uh, ta orange tabby was gone, and uh, went by the yesterday. Um, Tippy, my little my little sweetheart with the little white tip on her tail was gone, but the uh, the little solid gray one, the the torty that I had with the little white face, it was uh you know uh, looks like her mom has the eye patch. She had the whole white face, and uh, and then the solid black one were all three there, all three little girls. So, uh, but we're going into the holidays, and uh, they've only been there a week, so the last ones were gone in ten days, and. Uh, these little guys that are just romping, raising hell everywhere. They're underneath my feet. They're, they're. Uh, these are these are these are two of two of five. That's a, the other little torty here, and then this one's my little solid black. Yes, you are. So, uh, they're they've got a, a couple more weeks before they get to the same age where they go up. Then, of course, I've got the twins. We've got the twins that are always. Oh, 
this is one of the twins, <laughs> the little orange orange boy, and then here's the my little Tigger, and she's just a little run of the group. And uh, yeah, she's precious. She's she looks like her mama. Yeah, well, I'll let you down. Yeah, okay. Well, all right. Well, they'll just pick me up and rough me around. <laughs> yeah, this little guy with the, the little stripes on his back. He's uh, they 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 seem to really like the the orange tabbies up there at the at the pet store. But yeah, they're uh, they're all such uh, good natured, very affectionate little cats. So. Uh, even the girl up there that I was talking to, her name's Jade. Uh, she's got a couple of them herself, and she just can't get any more because she wanted one of those uh, that are up there now. But, yeah, she's in there playing with them and has the toys, has them out, holding them all the time. So uh, really good. I was afraid I was going to go up there and be one left, and it'd be out there by itself. That was going to break my heart. But uh, there's still three. I mean, I'm, I'm not happy they're still there, but at least they're not you know, isolated. So hopefully they'll, they'll go over the holidays here. Uh, some people will go in and, and get them and, uh, we'll, we'll have make room for the next batch coming up in a week or two. So, uh, they just, uh, like I said, these were born on July the 5th, the night of July 4th. They started coming out at about one o'clock in the morning. I spent the rest of the night delivering them in through July 5th. So they are just now eight weeks old. So, uh, Again, about 10 weeks is when they when they go in. So, uh, and then, of course, we've got still, come here, come here, my little, <laughs> this is my little rascallion here. And she's, she is just, again, she's just a little soft fluff up. Look at that sweet little face. So, all right, well, I'm going to, uh, in lieu of doing some pay dirt, since I just don't have time to get it in, edit it, and do all that, this I can just kind of run, pop in, and have it, uh, have it ready for tonight. And, uh. Again, it's Labor Day weekend. We're going into the holiday weekend, so we'll be doing something else, probably doing some kind of a live stream either over the weekend or on Labor Day. But um, that, that being said, so instead of, um, like I said, trying to force in a pay dirt, get something done real quick in between the rain and the, you know, it's, it's stopped raining for right now, but there's more coming. So let's just look at, look at what we got here and uh, a chance to say thank you uh, again to uh, some of these we already looked at uh, on the, it, well, they weren't actually done on a, on a mail call per se, but... Uh, so yeah, that'll uh, that's what we're doing. Thank you all again for uh, being here, supporting the channel. If you have not yet hit that subscribe button, I would be very grateful. YouTube does not like the things I say on here and will not promote it. it went, like I went almost two weeks without a single subscriber, and just this week I it it, it added like a couple to it. So after out out of uh, yeah, that's uh, I mean just statistically that just doesn't happen whenever you've. Uh, had a channel on as long as I have, and you've, you once you've broken a thousand, uh, so uh, it's it becomes a, a bit more obvious. But again, you know, it doesn't make any, it really doesn't doesn't affect me any. It just kind of pisses me off that they do that. They they target conservative voices and conservative channels, whether it's in you know whatever niche you're in, the algorithm will identify you. So there we go. I'd appreciate the the the, the vote of support though for the channel if you uh, do uh, tune in and. Uh, are not offended or, uh, uh, you know, outright enraged by the positions that the management of this channel has assumed. <laughs> so, all right, uh, let's check it out. You guys are, you guys are just raucous. It's like kids being trapped in the house on a rainy day, but they're in the house all the time. They love the they uh, they love the uh, some of them like the stick better than the <laughs> the little attachment, and I know some of you guys are going buy you what's what's with the rainbow what's with that rainbow shit well hey it's for the kitties we're not gonna we're not gonna let the uh, the mentally ill psycho uh, left uh, ideologies destroy the the fun of little kitties because the colors are there uh they've bastardized <laughs> the rainbow so that's right we still uh we still still allow it because they don't know they just want to play and that's just like regular little kids they, they you know they're not indoctrinated to anything <laughs> and uh it's just fun right gizmo yeah that's right so all right well i got in an order from I got it in just before the uh, the deadline, although I was sure 
I had timed it just right to get a winning ticket. And look at that, all those tickets there, and uh, to 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 uh, receive the the prize, the prizes, the prized items, which are some again some beautiful some beautiful nuggets from Gold Nugget Sales. Listen, look at that. So I did not in the end, but still, it was uh, cool to have the opportunity. And uh, for something you were already going to be getting anyway, and it got us a sticker. Very, very cool Gold Night Sale sticker. So, yeah, so I picked up another bag of the high grader just because it had been so long since we uh, had this available. And uh, it's such beautiful gold. So we got that with the one gram nugget guaranteed in it. And then I'd gotten, I hadn't done, one of my favorites was always that Coyote Creek jug I'd gotten. Actually, I did a Coyote Creek uh, one gram bag. And then I did the, uh, um, the, I had Mike put together a big like nine ounce jug or something like that. But this is stuff from the upper shelf, which is different, different stuff. And the gold looked different from the Oregon gold I had. From the first, from what I saw in the video. So this is something different. So we'll uh, we'll be checking that out. That's the one gram. And then uh, just for good measure, I threw in, because we hadn't done it before, just to look at it. One of my favorites here that he's had recently is that beautiful white horse gold that had that very, almost a crystalline uh, 23 carat look to it too. It was so shiny and bright yellow. And so this is the half gram bag. So that's kind of what he was doing with the tickets. If you, you got two tickets per gram. So uh, out of these, I ended up with four and a half grams. So I got nine tickets for the, the uh, raffle. So very cool. And uh, so, yeah, looking forward to uh, going through and, and hitting up those. So uh, then along with my awesome coffee cup, that we received from, and it came in in. Uh, uh, let's let there you go. Let's find gold, folks. The uh, came in from overseas, undamaged, unbroken, which is amazing. Hmm. And it's got the um, YouTube address on it as well. Very cool. It also included. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> one of his. Alan uh, Curry stickers, Panning with Alan, and a very cool, nice coaster, and what I believe, I think that this is an iron-on for a jacket or a, a t-shirt. So, what? hey, what are you doing? <laughs> he, just, he just shimmied up. Just did a little quick shimmy up there on the table, and all of a sudden, there, yeah, that's what they do. They infiltrate, don't you? You infiltrate into everything. There's, there's nothing. And now, yeah, you're gonna climb up on it. Yeah, there's my little. She's a little sweetheart. She really is a little sweetheart. Yes, you are. But um, I'm surprised she's the only one up here now. But yeah, so very cool. I have to find uh find something to iron that on but i, I believe that's what it is because it is definitely a, a different material so awesome thank you so much mr alan curry he's a great supporter of the channel he's a channel member and uh has uh he said been very generous he, oh and he also included i don't have it that's not here but he also included a little something for uh, a little libation for the uh saturday night grilling <laughs> so what are you doing you little monkey what we got here, we had come in, and uh, we covered this on the last video, but if you missed it, Mr. Uh, uh, Ron Anders, been up there hanging out with his buddy, Jason, the flower gold wizard, and the uh, the guys up there that have been working, and uh, this is off of uh, not the uh, the Great Lakes, but this is one of their, one of their streams at the creeks they work, but you can see... There is material in there, and then there is water in with it. So this is <laughs> this is all. Like I said, it came. I don't know. I you know, you put it in a queer beer can. So uh, we're we're allowing it. We're, we will allow that with the uh, in the house 
for uh, as as a gold container. It it will will give it a little value for that. But yeah, we don't we don't we don't allow queer beer in the house these days. But uh, again, it's just it's just serving a function. So, but very awesome and contain water everything you, everything you need in one uh, one spot for your panning uh, convenience. I like that. I've never had a a self contained. Uh, uh, Panning, panning system there, if you will. It's a simple beer can and some uh, dirt and water. What are you doing? Are you are you are you skitzing? What are you doing, huh? So next, just a, a little side thing. I've uh, I don't know why it's. Uh, I guess it's just become real popular because I've never had never really heard of it until recently, and then I started getting bombarded by stuff from it. But uh, Timu, Timu. They call it, it's that mail order place, basically, on the, what you would consider mail order. Now it's online ordering. But they have uh, a number of really cool, uh, besides tons of junk you can get, they also do have a variety of crystals and uh, uh, geological specimens and things of that nature that are, are, some of them are fake when you're talking about quartz and crystals and stones. But uh, this is actually... Let's see. It looks like it's probably the same. They took an ammonite and they cut it in half. And you can even see the the pockets in there where they where they match on the sides. But a very nice, very nice polished ammonite. I think I paid uh, five dollars for both of these. And. Uh, <laughs> Easy guys, very cool though. And then uh, I had, the, I think I got this for for four dollars or five dollars, but a uh, very nice amethyst specimen in the rock, and you can see the you know the post rock there coming off of it. A nice dark purple, not a uh, not light, so not not a bad. I'm very happy with that. And along with the uh, specimen, it also included <laughs> with the little chain and the uh, the clasp and everything another amethyst shard, and you can see it's polished very nicely. So, uh, and then like I said it's got even got the little chain that goes with it that can uh little hang so very cool so that'll be uh that'll be something we'll do for a giveaway because uh i'm i'm just not a a crystal wearing guy but since they send that like that i, I wouldn't really want to destroy it just to have you can get these just like that that's what you kind of need to watch out for in this company though because they'll have a variety of these and call it you know everything amethyst uh you know five or six different crystallized or ten different crystalline forms that they're saying they are but some are just colored glass some of them are dyed you know uh they've got some that they call them are agates and they're actually just uh colored stones when they cut into them you see that they're you know they're fake so you got to be careful about what you're ordering but uh yeah, they got you know instant returns on it so i mean it's not if you get something you don't like it, you you can uh, i've had i've returned stuff already and it was uh Depending on the size of it, they tell you to just keep it, and they'll give you your credit back. So, uh, very, very nice though. So, like I said, we'll include that in a in a giveaway, and probably somebody will be getting uh, one, at least one of those in a in a pay dirt or uh, some kind of a some kind of a thing. But uh, yeah, for the price, I was uh, I was very happy. I think I think all, all the whole order together was like six or seven dollars. So. For me, that's uh, that's shipping included. So, uh, I believe. Anyway, yeah, the whole thing was seven dollars, whether it was shipping included or not. So, very cool, very cool stuff. Then we turn over here. I had come in. If y'all saw the, the mail call on that, I'd gotten the awesome "Make America Great Again" signed Donald Trump hat here from uh, Sergeant Joe. And uh, so I got, I ordered along with his, that is a 
you can see the U.S. Marine Corps, Semper Fidelis coin, and our, where's our, he'd also included a, oh, there it is on the side there, the Trump bill, which I've just got it in there together, not necessarily, necessarily displayed, but, uh, and that is, uh, you can say, well, it doesn't look like a Trump, you, can, you know, can't read that's a Trump signature, but what the difference is, look, we've already got a damn, what else? That's why it can't, it won't be able to sit out anywhere. I'm going to have to put it back in a room <laughs> to protect it. But, uh, uh, yeah, so it is an acrylic. It is an acrylic box. But, yeah, that is his, uh, that is his rally signature whenever you'll see him uh, at, the, at the rallies when he's signing hats and giving them to the crowd or people walking up with a hat to sign. And he does that. You can tell the strokes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, as he does his D. And then, and, uh, and you can see him actually just doing that with his hand, up, down, up, down, up, down, when he does that. So that is his official, uh, we call it his rally rally signature, as opposed to his legible Donald Trump signature. But uh, very awesome. Uh, like I said, again, just uh, so profoundly fortunate and lucky that this is not a uh, – a posthumous, you know, uh, paraphernalia that he he did not end up with a bullet through his head in his hat, or or if it had been a real a real professional that would have taken a, a center mass shot, which they normally would have done, uh, not not trying to. That's like just like the cops; they didn't they don't train you to shoot at the head; they train you to take center mass, the largest, broadest, uh, and 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 uh, yeah, 70, 78 year old man taking a body shot. Uh, from a high caliper would not have, uh, you know, I, I don't think he had anything that would have prevent, protected him from, uh, even if he had any kind of flack on, I don't think it would have protected him from that, that, uh, that round. So uh, the fact that again, and we're seeing Dan Bongino this week, I've been watching his, uh, the replays of his appearance in uh, at the hearings. And again, these pieces of shit, they've, they've, they've reassigned five, of these, I guess it's the the bumbling uh, ponytail brigade that were, you know, looked like they had all lost their contacts. Whenever as as the as the president shot or uh, that one, that one, I don't know. They, they've scrubbed it. I was trying to find it to post here of the, the the woman cowering behind using Trump as a shield and the other agents while they were while they were taking fire on the stage. You know, from the backside, they show her and she's crouched down a good foot away maybe two feet away from where the, the pile of men are protecting Trump, uh, like crying as <laughs> she's huddling, using them for cover. So again, it, uh, and then they let the piece of shit that was running it, that woman, uh, resign. She's going to, you know, she, she'll keep her, her commit, her, her, uh, uh, retirement, all that bullshit. There, there's, there, 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 there was a man killed in the audience. One of his spectators, a Trump supporter, dead two others seriously severely injured and th there's been not a single firing but one of the main uh, one of the main players has been promoted again these these people that's all that's why that's why they need the the whole uh, seeing trump on that uh uh with rfk coming out the other night and uh rfk trump Tulsi Tulsi gabbard Elon Musk, you, you're actually seeing true diversity in the uh, in for the first time being assembled in government. I mean, these 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 people do not agree on everything, but they agree on the, enough that say that to say that no, we don't want our country to be you know turned into the shithole that it's become, and uh, we want to <laughs> we want to fix this and uh, embracing you know true diversity of ideas and and, and philosophies. Instead of uh, worrying about what color or you know, you know, what what kind of deviant you know you know perverse sex you have to to place you, so uh, that was very inspiring. RFK, <coughs> you know, a, 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 a an icon of the of the Democrat Party, you know, the that uh, and and one who's who's lost a, a, a father and an uncle to. Assassins knows no, no one knows more or better the threat of being a politician, and yet they refuse to give him Secret Service protection. And and then we see that on the day when Trump was there, his detail 
Jill Biden was speaking somewhere else indoors and had 12, had more than double the amount of protection on, on this dullard who no one was even there to see to begin with, as opposed to the most, uh, you know, persecuted and, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, assaulted man in the, uh, in the world. So uh, again, it's just, uh, the, again, it, it, it's beyond, it's beyond incompetence with this, uh, uh, you know, the, the, with the, 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 all, everything that went wrong and, uh, the incompetence and it's, and dereliction of not only duty, but of just procedure. And, uh, it goes beyond, you know, there it's, we, it gets to the point where it's, ne it's negligence with intent. And that's what they're seeing that they will, you know, they were, were setting this up to happen. You know, you can't believe anything they say, but, uh, yeah, seeing RFK, <laughs> and uh, again, Dad, most of the things he says, we do not agree with in any way. But uh, you know, yeah, he, he's spot on uh, on his uh, his 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 you know vaccine vaccine uh, the the specific the COVID vaccine the Wuhan vaccine bullshit. And now we've again we've seen the the inventor the guy that that actually designed created the the RNA uh, vaccine has come out and said specifically, you know, with no uncertain terms that it was not made to be broadcast as a, a fix all, um, you know, ma imaginary vaccine that it was, it was to be intended to be used for people that had the preexisting conditions that were subject to this, that were the elderly in no way was it ever, ever meant to be given to children and anyone that was below the age of basically 60. And he and he has insisted on this repeatedly. And of course, you never hear any of that. They blocked my channel. They took my um, they took my whole video down for even mentioning anything about the bogus bullshit whenever it was going on. And uh, and now so here again, another another time when oh those conspiracy theories, there's no conspiracy theory. Do it. We look at what we see as being factual and the uh, and you know the the reality as it appears and extrapolate from that. And then when it turns out to be that it's, you know, ex exactly correct and what appeared to be is exactly what you were seeing is exactly what is, you know, that's what they're trying to keep telling people that's, you know, Oh, don't believe what you see. Don't believe what you know. Don't believe what you hear. You know, whenever you're watching, you know, this piece of shit, <laughs> incompetent DEI woman, you know, that is the, the, the puppet of, of, of Barack and whatever other group of, uh, criminal scum that are running this country, you know, saying that I'm going to ban fracking. Oh, I never said that. Oh, I, I, my position has not changed. And she's turned around saying, I'm going to support fracking. No, it's illegal. We're going to support the laws of, of people breaking into this country. No, bitch, you just said that it's not going to be a crime to be an illegal alien. So again, everything. And then that, that interview last night that <laughs> we watched, uh, you know, 18 minutes out of uh, 41 and uh, the ones that the, the parts, what I understand, the sections they cut out were the Green New Deal and uh, uh, something else uh, that, that, again, that she probably just couldn't answer. But he's actually dumber than she is, and she's dumber than a box of rocks. She makes Biden look smart, and Biden has always been known in Congress as a joke because he was so dumb. Literally, he, you know. Uh, he he says he graduated the top of his class. He was like number sixty eight of seventy. You know he barely. He, and I'm sure knowing the way that they work, that he cheated to get that. You know, so uh, again, it's just uh, it's just so absurd that the that the lying and the bullshit is just so so propagandized to the point that it's not even they don't even try to mask it as being anything other than just blatant. Uh, you know, I mean, this is this is Russian next level Prague and, uh, uh, you know, the the Soviet, the Soviet paper. So, my friends, it's, uh, you know, right now we're less than 70, I guess, 70 days away. Uh, it's a couple of weeks from uh, early voting. I'm going to be I'll be I know it's against our again. It's against our nature, but we're going to be uh, we're going to be voting early. I'll uh, be uh, showing it. So. Hopefully, I'll uh, encourage a few guys to get out and get that vote in early, and uh, see if we can uh, stem the stem the tide of cheating this time. Because uh, I tell you, if we if we go down on this one, it's uh, it, I don't see us coming back. So, 
with that, with that, uh, <laughs> with that uh, upbeat note, and just let it be known that yeah, this is all. These are all very dire times when we look at it as very serious information, very stuff. Uh, I think y'all, y'all hear that whenever I talk about this stuff. I mean, yeah, it pisses me off, but you know, it. it I don't. I don't get. I don't have. Uh, I don't have heart. Uh, heartburn or, or uh, ulcers over or anything like that. You know, but, uh, it does prompt you want to speak out about it, take action. But uh, again. I'm a I'm a pretty happy guy. I got my I got my little guys bouncing around. They keep me laughing. I don't have to deal with assholes. If I do, I don't have to do I don't have to be around them because I just don't work for them anymore. So, uh, but most most people are pretty pretty damn good. And uh, like I said, I always enjoy being with you guys. Uh, and I think I think that my joy of gold always comes comes through as the genuine. Uh, appreciation and uh love i have developed for this stuff that's not you know again not in the miserly greedy oh you know uh, i sell my soul for gold but for appreciation of it and the interaction of the of the people involved in it as well and uh you know like i said kind of a whole package that makes it makes it fun and uh and as well as you know gold twenty five hundred dollars now when i started it was seventeen hundred high 16s so uh yeah if you've just been sitting on gold all that time you you've made some money on your investment on oh you can't make anything on pay dirt well <laughs> you'd have you're what you were paying uh you know 1600 for now is at 25 so yeah that's been by my math that's about uh eight or nine hundred dollars uh profit if you were collecting it so yeah it's it may, is it the best way maybe not but if you can only afford to spend 25 50 100 dollars here and there you're not going to be on something where you're buying you know, $2,500 coins, you know, $1,500 half ounce coins that you're going to sit in your safe somewhere. But you can go back and buy little bags of gold and collect a gram at a time, three grams at a time, five grams, and put it in your little vial. And then whenever it comes time, if you want to sell it, yeah, you're going to lose 10, 10%, 15% on uh, the difference of it being not pure gold. But you know, whenever you've made eight hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars an ounce on it, and it keeps going up, it'll soon be maybe twelve hundred, fifteen hundred dollars a profit from where you first bought it. Again, I've given away and and uh, and sold too much of mine to be. Uh, it's been recycled through, but uh, again, most of the stuff that I have is still but was bought below twenty five hundred. So anything that I have has has been been profitable. So again, whenever, you know, you'll have these guys telling you, don't, you know, don't, it's not for profit. It's just for hobby, blah, blah. There's no hobby that you can do. And I, I go and buy a fishing lure to enjoy fishing. I know my return on that investment of that fishing lure is going to be some fish. And eventually it's going to be gone. It'll, you know, it'll, I'll lose it. So then I start again, you know, they're, they're, uh, this is a very different hobby of, of any other kind of hobby where, you're spending out your for your enjoyment of panning for gold and feeling like you're an, an old timey minor 49er. But uh, when you're done, that's something you hang on to for as long as you're around because it's never going to, it's never going to deteriorate or rust or turn bad. So uh, again, I push it very much as an investment opportunity and a good way to get into then, you know, then once you've had it, then you realize, well, if I'm doing this, I can start spending, you know, Three hundred, five hundred dollars a month for for more traditional gold, smaller coins, whatever. But uh, as far as getting your feet wet and handling gold, because so many people from the time I started to say, you know, gold's something that you always think of when you're not in it. It's something that other people deal with. It's what rich people hand deal with. You know, uh, uh, you know, big conglomerates or mining companies, and uh, you know, it's not for the av everyday, you know, everyday guy. And uh, no, it actually is now. And if you pick carefully and uh, and pay attention to your friendly <laughs> YouTube uh, reviewers, painter reviewers, uh, you can uh, look back and, uh, and and pick through and see which ones are really good to get and which ones to stay the hell away from. Golden painter. <laughs> and uh, so, um, yeah, there we go. Like I said it, it transcends your daily life of what you know as normal. And uh, opens up new, uh, basically new ways of thinking, and uh, you know, a new new uh, perceptions 
of and learning about geology, learning about history and anything else. If you follow up on where did this gold come from, you know, how, you know, what's the, what, you know, how long has it been in use? You know, they say that all the gold in the world that's ever been mined will fit in, I believe it's like four, four or five Olympic sized swimming pools. So all the gold throughout all of humanity and human existence that has been mined would fit in a few Olympic sized swimming pools. That's, you know, that's, uh, that, that's, that's pretty mind boggling whenever you think of when you think of it. So again, I don't know how accurate that is, but I've heard that stat numerous times, but, um, there we go. So I uh, thank you all once again for tuning in on this one. Like I said, we'll be uh, doing something here for the Labor Day weekend and uh, maybe in some kind of live stream. I've got, what did I say? I still haven't decided what. You've got this one ready to go for uh, for some some kind of giveaway coming up here. Pretty soon they just will buy you. They'll buy you with the, you can see there's there's gold lining the shore once again on these. But uh, also we got one coming up for the, the channel members that I haven't posted yet. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, till the next time, take care of each other. Have a, if I don't see you again, have an awesome Labor Day holiday weekend. And uh, till next time, me and the, where are they? Where's the little gang? There they are. Me and the little gang. We'll, we'll see you. <laughs> we'll see you later. What, what are you looking at? What are you looking at, little boy? Uh, I love I love my little guys. Uh, yeah, here we are again. Under the house. I was trying to do a patch job, but I ended up having to tear out that much. <laughs> so uh, the parts, I'm trying not to have to tear out any more than I need to. So I'm doing this. This is how I repaired it the first time from underneath. And uh, I told her if we do that, it's just going to break through in a couple of years. And here we are. So, but uh, yeah, I'm doing this. This setup. There's, there's my boy. <laughs> He's been coming in and out. Uh, Milk, that's her cat. A hurricane somewhere around here. He's been coming in and out too. So yeah, I got my little guys hanging out. With me. Uh, so what I'm doing is going down. <coughs> Getting underneath. And oh, I can't see what I'm looking at anywhere here. Just like these. See, there's the hole. And then I put these in to support the tie and groove from the from the underside. Shore up the floor so I don't have to change out all of it. If it's something I couldn't, like all this, I could put one stomp of my foot and punch through it. So I just kept turning it out as long as I could do that all the way down. So this stuff's a little soft. There's some soft spots here. You can see right there is where I was under here before and jacked it up and supported it there uh, because it was the whole <laughs> the whole floor was shaking. But yeah, these are on 24 inch centers, which is way too wide for a floor with no subfloor. These should be 16 inch maximum. And actually 14 to 12 inch if you're not using a subfloor on a hardwood, you know, flat floor. So, yeah, this thing was, uh, you know, I mean, it's lasted. It was built in 1937, so it's, uh, you know, pushing 100 years old. So, yeah, so I get in here, measure these, cut them so that they're a little tight. Just so, but the, the, uh, the width of these beams varies as well so where it fits on one side you can barely squeeze it in on another side uh, I don't know let me see now hey what are you doing over there Bill you're not getting in my stuff are you you're not getting in my stuff are you <laughs> this is what I 
He likes to come up and yeah, he likes to come up. He's one of these that wants to rub rub you and uh, rub you on the head. So yeah, <laughs> I can't get away from him, man. I am the, the crazy cat lady here. Uh, I don't identify as a woman though. To be clear, crazy, crazy cat, old cat man, I guess. Bayou cat guy. So, but yeah, he's a good, really a good natured cat too. Uh, just like my boy Hurricane. Uh, so once again, I'm uh, I use the nice big three and a half to four inch star head screws. These things, you know, they bite in. You don't have to fight them like you do on the uh, Phillips heads, and they're much they're much stronger, longer lasting screw too, as far as holding up. And so again. Yeah, once you've been under here doing this for a few hours, you do start feeling it on your arms. <laughs> and shoulder. Why is my fucking, uh, this thing working fine before and move it around and then you lose your spot. And it never stands up the same again. Alright, so like I said I get I get it up tight into position and I press it up in there and then I shoot I shoot a big screw. Oh let me get one right here. See what I'm doing. I put one of these big screws on each end once I get it pressed up tight. Sometimes I have to actually use my jack under here and push these things up to get them into position, but on this house, that is not necessary. And that pulls them up. Now I'm able to go in and shoot. That's it. I go through and kick one on each corner. Of course, you've always got wire or pipes. Or fortunately, I'm I don't have the deal to deal with any any pipes in this section under here. But uh, when I get on that end, I got some I'll have to crawl around under, but nothing too bad. So, uh, so that's it, and then that'll be one. I'm actually putting four across this section here, and then a couple more over here, and working my way down. And uh, like I said, that way it's keeping me from having to tear out and replace floor, which is a lot more expensive. So, uh, there you go. That's that. There, that's our Saturday end of the house. <laughs> And uh, once I get this done, I'm going to be able to finish off my wood on the top side.